All right, so we're talking about resting membrane potential in this video, and we've given an example of a cell, let's say a neuron. Now, just note that resting membrane potential is noted in almost every cell, and uh, this is a potential that is noted when there is no stimulus, so there's no stimulation, meaning there's no active potential, no action potential. Uh, for the resting membrane potential uh, to be created, we have uh, the sodium, potassium, ATP pump. Now, just from the name, we can tell that this is an enzyme. Therefore, it breaks down ATP to ATP plus a phosphate, and then we have energy, and this is the energy that is used to pump. And it pumps, meaning against the concentration gradient, transporting against the concentration gradient, sodium and potassium. Now, uh, sodium is pumped out, okay? And potassium is pumped into the cell. Now, because sodium is pumped out, we have a concentration gradient that is formed. And this is sodium is more in the ECF extracellular fluid. And because uh, potassium is pumped into the cell, we have potassium that is high inside the cell. Okay, so there we have a concentration gradient formed. Now, um, the other thing that you must note is that this pump, okay, it pumps in two potassium ions and pumps out three sodium ions. And we know that inside the cell, we have proteins that are negatively charged, and they have no passage, okay, across the cell membrane. And so because of this, we tend to see that there is a, a net, so to speak, a net flow of cations out of the cell. All right. Now, because there's a net flow of cations out of the cell, this creates an electrical gradient. So this electrical gradient is because three sodiums go out only two potassium go in. Therefore, we have less positive in the cell, meaning the cell becomes, the cell inside is negative. And the negativity that is caused because of uh, this flow due to the pump is approximately negative 5 maybe volts. Okay? So, um, another thing we must note is that at rest, um, this membrane is permeable to potassium. Meaning potassium can move but uh, sodium can't move through these channels, and they are called the potassium leaky channels. Okay, they allow potassium to come out. Now, why do they allow potassium to come out? Because number one, it says the concentration gradient of potassium is such that potassium is more inside, so it will want to go out if 
you have uh, a channel available okay now because it goes out because it goes out it affects the electrical gradient so how we are having cations leaving meaning positive ions leaving cell so the cell becomes more electro negative and so this electronegativity um, that is created by the efflux of potassium plus that created because of the pump action together make up resting membrane potential so this particular one for potassium it can be um, it can be calculated using what we call the Nance equation, which we'll talk about in the next video. Um, thank you very much.